Shalom, brothers and sisters. So the crisis with the uh, people staying away from the military in Israel is getting worse by the day. 10,000 Israeli reservists announced their refusal to show up for service in protest of the judicial reforms. They've all drunk the Kool-Aid. We represent 10,000 reservists who are telling the government, the defense minister and the prime minister, the responsibility is on you said E.L. Navi, leader of the Brothers in Arms, while supported by multiple infantry, special forces and air force units of the IDF Reserve. If you want us on your side, as we've served under right and left-wing governments, we call on you to stop the legislation. I.e., do what we say, or we'll refuse to protect you. So, it's like a terrorist situation and a hostile attempted coup takeover situation. In response to this, Netanyahu and IDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Herzi Halevi are set to meet to discuss the readiness of the armed forces. But initial statements from the IDF top brass claim it remains ready for war despite the ongoing protests and reservist withdrawals. Halevi and Yuaf Galant, the defense minister, recently presented the military's readiness statistics to Netanyahu. So Israel's still good to go. They still have teeth. They can still punch really hard and they're willing to do it. This small group that are now trying to force the government to do what they want are not even seeing how ridiculous what they're doing is and how they're being manipulated and used by the far left for the destruction of Israel and making Israel appear weak. Because the longer this goes on, the more her enemies are salivating and getting braver and coming out to try and threaten Israel. So this war with Israel is going to kick off really, really fast. And a large part of that, the reason for it and the responsibility for it is going to lay at the feet of people like this. Pray for Israel and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.